Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explain how to use a very old but really easy Microsoft utility to copy files from one place to another. First, we're going to copy it from the same server to a different place on the same server. And then secondly, we're going to use a UNC path to copy it to a different server altogether. And we'll show you how to you know, maintain the permissions. We'll show you how to mirror it so you can run the script over and over and over and over again and it'll only catch the deltas. It'll take permissions. It's pretty slick. And the command is Robocopy. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Robocopy, uh, Robocopy came out in 1996 and it was meant originally for really crappy communications that were going through satellite connections. So it's meant to be you know, interrupted, it's meant to restart, it's meant to be run over and over again. But you don't have to. You can just run it like a regular copy program. In fact, it replaced the old X copy. Okay, enough of that history. Let's get to it. So here, I've got, uh, and by the way, yeah, I'm doing this on an ancient server just to prove the point that uh, you can do this on anything. Server 22, server 2019, all the way back. Okay, so let's go um, to uh, this uh, high quality test chair I've got. And you can see I've got some garbage in here, including a folder uh, and some test documents. So yeah, uh, what's the command then? So first what we wanna do is copy it from this machine to this machine, you know, say to a different folder or a different drive. How do you do that? Uh, you can use PowerShell, you can use Windows Terminal, or you can use Command Line. This will work in all three. And that is the command. Robocopy from your source to this destination, whatever destination you want, the destination, as you can see right now, doesn't even exist. It can, but it doesn't have to. It'll build it for you. And then slash R equals retry. And why would you want to retry? Well, if a file's open, you might want to have it retry a few times. And there's no point in having it retry, you know, one millisecond after it uh, already found out that a file was open. So how long should you wait? Well, wait here is set to two seconds. So basically, this will try three times, uh, two seconds apart, just in case somebody's closing a file or something. If you don't want to use these two switches, don't. If a file's in use, it'll just skip it. Anyway, slash mirror. Now, this is the useful part, mirror. What mirror does is it clones uh, your source. So it will take everything from here and it will copy it to here. So it will only copy things that have changed. So if you've got a 100 gig file, it won't bother to copy it again, unless there have been changes, in which case it will copy it. So you can imagine if you're copying, say, 10 terabytes, well, it's going to take days to copy. But if you then run Robocopy a second time, it's going to be blindingly fast because it's only going to catch the deltas. The security changes, the changes to files, that's it. So awesome. So if you add a file or change a file, it'll copy just that. So Mirror is excellent. And slash SEC, is simply security take the permissions with it now you don't have to use any of these switches but uh, i'm going to just to because these are pretty common just watch over here you'll see this temp folder get created with destination and here uh, and then all those files go in so let's press the enter and you see it gives you this great little report as well but let's go look at uh, what it created temp destination here isn't that nice we'll get to showing you how to do this in a unc path in just one second but i do want to show you if I go into this test share and I now add a file, so I'll just go create a text document called 222 and I'll put some garbage in it. So I'll put this as 22222, garbage, right? And close it. And then let's delete this AA file. And let's go into this 111 file and we'll add a 555 here, way down. Okay, a bunch of garbage, there we go. So we've made a bunch of changes. We've added a file and we've deleted a file. Let's run the script again. And now let's go take a look at what happened. So let's go into temp, destination, here. How's that for clever? Just like you'd expect, that AA file is gone, 222 is there, and 111, does this that? Yep, see, so it's copied it. I'll show you the permissions in a moment because firstly, let's show you how to copy this off to a different server. I could simply go into here and change the uh, robocopy command here, but I always prefer to do it from the receiving server. So I'm gonna flip over to a different server here. And here's the command, robocopy from the source, that other server was rmd mdt01, the C drive, that test chair, that's the source. 
And where do I want it to go? I want it to go to C, Temp, Ian's new share. Again, retry three times, wait two seconds in between retries, you know, if it's even necessary. I want you to mirror it, I want you to get all of the changes, and when it's the first time you're running it, everything's a change, so it'll copy everything. And secondly, copy the security, which is what we'll show you in just a moment here. Okay, and uh, this time, you'll see I've already got a temp folder created, but I don't have to. So, uh, but I just want to show you that it's okay if it, if it is partially there or even completely there. So let's press enter on this and watch what happens. Boom! So it, the temp folder was already there. Go good with it. And there's those files. Isn't that nice? Now, let's go take a look at the permissions on this. So let's go right click on my test chair and let's set the security let's just do something different so let's go to add and we'll add let's just add something silly like authenticated users and we'll give them full control because we're nuts oh can't do well it's open that's okay there we go so authenticated users have full control well let's go back over here and you'll see my permissions here should have nothing to do with authenticated users. Yeah, it's not even listed. Okay, so let's go run the script again. And you'll see this time, it's pretty much just gonna copy the permissions. That's really the only change it's gonna make. So let's go into here and I should see authenticated users and I do full control. Now let's go back to here to the original server. You know, my test share, I'm gonna reduce the permissions of those authenticated users down to just read i just want them to be able to read and list there we go they won't even be able to open it and just for fun let's add another file here just to prove the point folder uh so this one we'll call it uh folder two clever name huh yeah that's enough i think you get the point so let's go into here and let's run the script again and bingo there's folder two and what are their permissions here authenticated users should only have there it is. So you can see that's the beauty of Robocopy. It just freaking works. There are a pile of additional commands. I'm not going to waste your time here with it, but let's just show you that you can simply type in Robocopy slash question mark and it, it will bring up a lot of help. Uh, so you can do differentials with, you know, there's all kinds of things you can do here. <laughs> so. Uh, it's a bit overwhelming, but if you go through it slowly, it's pretty good. So things like SEC, the one we're using, copy the security. Mirror is the same as copy everything. It, by the way, slash E everything means everything, including like empty folders. And it means purge, which means if you delete a file from the source and you run the script, it'll delete it as you've seen. Pretty great, huh? Hey, if you found this video useful, please click like. Very helpful with the Google algorithms. You can also uh, click subscribe. That would be great. Uh, if you have any questions, you can get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below and somebody will get back to you because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.